At a crowded sports arena, he was introduced by the half-sister he first met three decades ago. Tuko Pamoja, he's one of us. But we're happy to share him with the world, right? But President Obama's message on his Kenyan homecoming was that young Kenyans don't have to do what his father did, leave to find a better future. Because of Kenya's progress, because of your potential, you can build your future right here, right now. All it takes, he says, is embracing democracy and battling corruption, tribalism, and a culture that too often sidelines and abuses women. Those are traditions, treating women and girls as second-class citizens. Those are bad traditions. They need to change. They're holding you back. It was a noisy highlight to a visit that started quietly at Nairobi's airport but built to a colorful swirl of welcome for America's first African-American president, albeit one who took six plus years to come. And though he didn't go to the village where his father's buried, his extended family came to him for dinner. Emphasis on extended. Cousins and uncles and aunties that show up that you didn't know existed. Meantime, Obama's talks with President Uhuru Kenyatta spanned trade and investment but also the fight against Al-Shabaab militants, whose attacks, like this one on a shopping mall, have killed hundreds here. Uh, when they're willing to target soft targets uh, and civilians and are prepared to die, they can still do a lot of damage. But on gay rights, a touchy subject in Kenya, the two leaders parted ways. It's very difficult for us to be able to impose on people that which they themselves do not accept. Yet mostly, Kenyatta, like others here, treated Obama as a hero come home. He returned, riding on the wings of history. I suspect that some of my critics back home uh, are suggesting that I'm back here to look for my birth certificate. <laughs> Three decades after he first came to Kenya in search of his roots, the president has had an emotional return. Still, he's voicing frustration at not getting outside the bubble but he's vowing to return as an ex-president without the suit. Mark Smith, The Associated Press, Nairobi, Kenya.